hopefully you all can see me just fine. Um, trying another uh, vlog style stream. This time I'm going straight out of my car. Um, and I just got out of seeing Deadpool 2. This video is going to come up mid-June or so, more or less. So I'm going to keep spoilers at a moderate level. It may be out of theaters by this time because Solo and other stuff, but it also makes it be theaters, and there's also the second-run theaters, though we're, we're sadly down one second-run theater in the Portland metro area. Anyway, Deadpool 2 saw this in IMAX in 2D. I don't have any 3D screening is really available near me. So, right off the bat, Deadpool 2 is Deadpool, but more so. Like, the first Deadpool movie, but more so. This is both a kind of a blessing and a curse. If you liked the first Deadpool movie, you will like this. That said, if you watched Deadpool 1 and went, okay, this is good, if they could very easily go overkill, if they went too much above this, this would suck for me, You wouldn't I wouldn't like it if it went any more beyond this, then I have bad news for you, Deadpool 2 is like Deadpool 1, but more so. I don't just mean in terms of more, but more in the sense of, oh, it's two hours more of what was in the first movie. It's more so in the sense that it is also cranked up to more of what was in the first movie, which in turn me more of it. It is at a higher level. So more violence, more self-referential humor, that sort of thing. It's a good movie. I enjoyed it. A lot of the jokes worked well. But there's other bits, but there are definitely bits where the film kind of stumbles. There are characters who are killed off here who feel like they didn't merit much by them being killed off. I like, in the sense of the joke is, oh, it's this character, and then we killed them off in, in, in a fairly terse manner. And the sense, and there's the right sense of, the joke is that we kill is, is oh it's a character you like we killed them, which that doesn't work as well for me. I mean some people go for it, but it 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 does it doesn't f fly for me. It falls flat. It 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 doesn't just fall flat. It kind of I I want to make a joke here that references the way in which one of these characters dies, but that would kind of spoil the movie and I'm trying to avoid that and part of the reason and, and part of the way the joke will work is the fact that it comes so out of the blue all of these come so out of the blue and like sh sudden shocking outbursts of violence as for sake of humor was very much a part of the first Deadpool movie and it worked it's when it doesn't fit in with that where it kind of gets crappy <sighs> So did I enjoy the movie, though? I absolutely enjoyed it. It is definitely well shot. The action sequences are much more involved here. It helps that because part of this is we have one of the directors of the John Wick movies involved with this. And if you've seen John Wick, if you've seen my vlog reviews of John Wick, you know that the John Wick movies are very, like, they have excellently done action sequences, very fluidly done. The people who make those movies are masters of the art of crafting an action set piece almost more so than the directors of classic action. Of like, they're better at putting action set pieces together than John Woo are, in part because these are the kind of guys who John Woo would refer to to put the action set pieces together. Like, you have to get, like, a Wen Wu Ping for better put-together set action pieces because Wen Wu Ping is both an action choreographer and a director. So, yeah. Well, these guys, too. They're on that level. I'm slightly rambling because I'm just out of the movie. In terms of the direction itself, um, and the writing and everything else, action, acting performances are great. Writing is very well done. I will say now, if you're hoping they find a creative use of, um, Mama Gonna Knock You Out by LL Cool J in the film, and this, because it was used in the trailer in the same way that the first film incorporated X going to give it to you into the trail into the film in a very similar way, where like, hey, we got the rights to it. We're not just going to use it in the trailer. We're going to use it in the movie. Sadly, no, no, no. LL Cool J. We do get some Skrillex and some dubstep, but that's pretty much it. 
that pretty much covers all the bases. This is gonna be, I'm keeping this somewhat short, partially because I'm flying solo, partially because, again, the movie's just out. I like This is opening weekend when I'm recording this, and while this will be a couple weeks later, I don't want to spoil. It is solidly done. It is funny, but it is also incredibly referential. If you like Deadpool, like, I not to get trite, if you like the first Deadpool movie, you're going to like this one. If you if you didn't like the first Deadpool movie, you're not going to like this. If you thought the first Deadpool movie was just right, but any more would be overdoing it, you may run into problems for this movie. That pretty much covers the basics. If I had one, like, if there's one thing I would do to improve it, if anything I would do to improve it, I probably, like, of the members, of the big members of X Forces, all the, the big name actors, the, and that was being actually, of all the other members of X Force aside from Domino, uh, who get involved, I'd have liked to have done just a little bit more with some of them. Um, like, Shatterstar in particular, But that pretty much covers most of it. Like, like, none of the members of X Force, aside from like Deadpool and Domino, get a big action set piece moment. Okay, that, that, this is the spoiler I will give. The members of X Force don't get to, aside from Deadpool and Domino, because Deadpool is the title character and Domino's power is indeed incredibly cinematic. None of them get a real major showpiece moment. And I'd have liked them to get a showpiece moment. At least, like, give each character of the team a moment to do something a little cool. And none of them really get that. But otherwise, it's pretty much all right. I dig it. Um... I don't know, like, the first movie is one where, like, I haven't got a DVD yet and Blu-ray, but it's one of those things where I'm meaning to get it. This film, I'm glad I saw it in theaters. But at no point am I going, man, I wish we had the Blu-ray for this. Like, I'm going, I'm looking forward to the Blu-ray for this movie. I'm looking forward to owning a copy of this film. It works well enough as it is. In theaters, if it came up on Netflix, if Netflix was still doing their sort of Netflix shuffle, uh, focused shuffle thing, Netflix Max or whatever the hell it was, um, if Deadpool 2 came up on Netflix Max, I'd be like, oh, sure, fine, I'll watch Deadpool 2. But but I'd watch Deadpool Deadpool 2 again. But at no point I go... After, after seeing this, it doesn't have the same, like, I want to rewatch this movie over and over again sense. I may change my mind a couple hours down, not a couple hours, but like a few days down the road. But at present, it's not a movie where I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go see Deadpool 2 again. In a way that the first Deadpool was, in a way that Guardians of the Galaxy was, in a way that much of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, with the exception of like Thor 2, were... There's nothing quite there that grabs me. And that's probably the biggest, the, the, the most damning thing I can say about Deadpool 2. I'm glad I saw it in theaters. I enjoyed it. I'm no, I'm in no hurry to see it again. And if I never saw the film again, I wouldn't feel bad for never having watched for, for that. I'm glad I watched it the first time. I would always have got sought it out. And I don't feel bad for having spent the time to watch it the first, to watch Deadpool 2 the first time. And if there is a Deadpool 3, I will certainly, I'm willing to see that. But I feel like we're approaching the razor's edge of diminishing returns if they're not careful. So, that mind, if you enjoyed Deadpool, please post or agree, disagree, other thoughts. What would you like to see in Deadpool 3? Please post in the comments below. And other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you later.
thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, Cost me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.